case, for this one, we're going to do two examples here. The Hopatil's rule we're going to apply to both. So if let's use the first one. You should always check to make sure the Hopatil's can be applied here. Uh, I'm going to put 1 in the top, and I get 1 minus 1. I get 0 on top. If I put 1 in there for the x's, I get 4 minus 7, negative 3 plus 3. Again, I get a 0 over 0 situation. That means that the Hopatil's can be applied. So what you do there is you're going to take the derivative of the top and bottom. So top, 3 comes down, you get 3x squared. On the bottom, we'll use power rule for that also, 12x squared minus 7. Okay, now this time we're going to put a 1 in there. We want to make sure we get, make sure we don't get a 0 over 0 again. If you put 1 in the top, you get 3. If you put a 1 in down below, you get a 5. So therefore, we know that we don't have to take any more derivatives because we actually got our final answer. We only had to do the derivative once. Now, Let's look at this example. Now this example, we're going to be going to infinity. So if I put infinity in here, I'm not going to get 0 over 0. Instead, I'm going to get infinity over infinity. Now, in some uh, textbooks, there's actually a proof that will prove that Le Hopital's rule not only works for the indeterminate form 0 over 0, but it also works for infinity over infinity. Now originally we defined this as only working for 0 over 0, but like I said, it can be approved that you can also apply the Hopital's if you have infinity over infinity. So any kind of problems that you see in this section where you get 0 over 0 like this one, or infinity over infinity like this case, you can apply the Hopital's. Now it works exactly the same way, you're going to keep on going until you don't have one of those indeterminate forms anymore. Either you don't get 0 over 0 or you don't get infinity over infinity. So let's try that on this one. Okay, so we're going to take the limit as x goes to infinity. We're going to do the derivative on top. You get 1 minus 6x. We're going to apply the derivative there on the bottom. 8x plus 9. Okay, let's put in infinity and see what happens. Okay, we get, we're still going to get infinity over infinity situation, you'll get negative infinity here over positive infinity, but still you want to keep on going with derivatives. So we're going to do one more time, limit it as x goes to infinity. Do derivative of the top, we're going to do negative 6 we get there. On the bottom, you're going to get an 8. All right, well you're not going to get infinity over infinity anymore. We actually got a number. The only thing you have to do with that is reduce it, which means that your final answer for this one is going to be negative 3 fourths.